everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So we took a bit of a beating last episode, the Griffin went down, we lost a whole bunch of stuff off of that. I know it's it's in really bad condition, but we did pick up a few things that I think are really going to help us out. So let's have a quick look in the mech bay before we go off on the mission today. Uh, the missions did update, so the one I wanted to take at the la end of the last episode is not there anymore. So I do have another one chosen already What we're gonna and decided what we're going to do. So the Talos... Uh, we didn't do much to that. We add the compact life support and the sensors tracker, uh, tracker sensors on this thing. Uh, that's all we did. It's run, been running with the advanced optics. It's been doing really well. I'm hoping that the, uh, the tracker sensors are going to even uh, increase our chance to hit a little more. Now, I did toy around with the idea of making this into an LRM carrier. Uh, but the only way we were able to do that was to be able to put in two LRM-5s and an LRM-10 while we dropped the Thunderbolt and the SRM-6. And we would be able to put in the Artemis at that point, but I just figured that a Ultra 5 LRM 20 loadout wasn't enough uh, damage. So the pinpoint of the L Thunderbolt 10 and the uh, SRM 6s for closer range, I think is probably a little better loadout. Overall, it does more damage. It'll do 120 in total, uh, whereas the LRMs would only do 80. But the bonus of like, the LRMs was the continuously firing at long range. So, I mean, I don't know. We'd have about 12 turns of firing with the LRMs, with the Artemis. But I wasn't convinced it was the best way to go. Uh, so I'm hoping that this, with the uh, increased targeting at long range, that this that uh, Thunderbolt's going to hit a lot more and do a lot more damage for us. Now, the Hunchback went through a major refit. Let's have a quick look at it. Now, we were running with this guy. I forgot we still had the primitive engine in there. We didn't even have endosteel. So... I updated this guy. It's it's I think a little better um, better off. Than, well, it's obviously a little better off than what it was before. Uh, Endo steel went in. Uh, standard fusion core went in. That gave us about five and a half tons, I think, to mess around with. So I dropped the medium rifle and put in the ultra two with the ultra two ammo, and then I threw in an, uh, the advanced AMS in the arm with a ton of a advanced AMS ammo to help us out a little bit. So I think that's probably a half decent loadout. Now eventually, if we can get a better weapon loadout for the Talos, what I'd like to do is drop the Ultra 5 in here as well. Drop the Advanced AMS and go with an Ultra 5 and an Ultra 2. Uh, and we might have to drop the Narc Launcher at, the, at that point as well, but that would give us a nice uh, big juicy loadout here. But as it stands, this isn't that bad at all. So we're going to go this route. It is running very, very heat neutral. So we shouldn't have to worry about overheating at all. Uh, the advanced AMS doesn't actually generate any heat. Well, it's three heat per activation in AMS mode, but it's going to generate so little heat that we're not really going to have to worry too much about it. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the battle then for today. The Cephalus we just left it as it was. It's it's fine as it is for now. So command center has changed quite a fair bit here. Actually, let's go to the barracks first. Let's see if we got any uh, points to spend here for our pilots. We do have a bit for Griff for piloting. Uh, I'm probably going to do that. If the enemy is going to be mailing us a fair bit, I think I want to make sure that we don't get knocked down as often as we could could be getting knocked down. Um, all right, we're going to get uh, guts on you so we don't bail out too early. And you, you're still fine, Sturm. Let's get some piloting once again, working on not being knocked down. Uh, and then taser face, we're still good. Okay, now, uh, command center. The mission I want to take today is, I think it's Egregious Maxim. Um, that's the Lance of Max. That's not the one we want. Juliet Confusion. I think this is it here. Yeah, so there's only, so this is, they finally tracked down uh, Lyran Terrorists responsible for the deadly attack on one of their facilities. There's only two of them and they're extremely heavily, extremely heavily armed and very dangerous, very, very dangerous. So I want to go and check this out just to see what we're up against. We, we have range. So we're going to try and utilize that as best as possible. Hopefully these guys aren't too heavy at one skull. There's only two of them, so, uh, you know, what could go wrong? Let's max our salvage. Hopefully we can get a mech out of this. And, yeah, we're, we're short one. Not much we can do about it. I should probably get this Arbiter up and running, but uh, we need sea bills. Let's go. Interface okay, here we go. Uh, let's make sure we stay up on high ground. They're supposed to be up here, are they? Wait, did we just get sold out? What?
So they've got two battles at once, eh? Um, okay, so there's another unit, I guess, attacking these guys. So that's the corner pretty much taken up. So we could take the hill across from them. So they're in here. And there's a second unit coming probably back here. So let's go across from them then. Let's stay up on here. I want to drop in the trees, I think. That looks pretty good for now. See what we're up against here. Doesn't offer us very much to get down if we've got to close with them, but I think we're probably safer here. This would be some prime beach real estate. They got a support lance, eh? I feel a tremor. Like there's creatures living beneath the surface. Really? Why can't we fight in nice? Okay, striker. Legs. The hell is that thing? That looks like a wolverine. Archer? No. I was thinking a modded archer, but that's... Looks like brutalness encapsulated. I don't know. They might have vehicles. Hopefully, whoever it is that's supposedly coming down to uh, attack these guys... Commander. ...can contribute to the... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're just going to set up back here for now. Till we find out what's really going on. Come on. You can do it. My drive's acting funny again. I don't know why, man. I got more than 10% uh, space left on it. Should, shouldn't be um, running into issues with, like, disk cache and stuff. So it's a ferret. All right, well, let's brace it up. It's doing some kind of calculations. Come on, you guys. What are you up to? So you go on 11 and 13. So he's coming down. Order. You can't do much at the moment. So where is our down point? Over on this side. I'm going to put you... up here. Roll to that. We can get down the hill still. Get a little bit of height, hopefully spot somebody at some point. We don't have jump jets, so it's not like we can, uh... Standing by. Yeah, we're gonna have to get down eventually at some point. Let's just move over here. Position confirmed. Point nine. Point two six, Savannah Master. So the vehicle, the, the support lance isn't that difficult. He says as he's worried about it. So that's the big guy, I think. <laughs> I laugh at your puny attack. I'm showing minor damage. Dude, don't friggin' tempt fate. You know better than that. Throw the thing up for what it's worth. Let's get some evasion going, get over here. I wanna try and get that ferret gone. All right, AMS going to work. Ah, I wonder where that enemy lance is coming down. Let's get over here and see if we can see that ferret. Probably not going to see him this turn, but next turn. Yeah, nothing. It's fine. Good thing the cloud has got lots of ammo. Okay, they're coming in there. Perfect. It's on the other side of these guys. Isn't that was where... It... Didn't it want us to drop somewhere over there? Or was it back... To... I don't know which way it was. 
whatever. Full sprint. Let's move and start engaging. Helopolis. Is that the guy I was looking at? It's just missing the arm, so I guess that was the guy I was looking at then. Um. Okay. Let's keep them between a rock and a hard place. None of us can shoot yet, so um, let's just move up. Stay at distance if we can. Get in the trees if we can. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's see what happens here. Okay, there's the drop. They got two copters. Looks like a Centurion? Or something? Capellan Bounty Hunters. All right. As long as we don't shoot them first, we should be okay. Sprints. Sprint a Ripper. That's the ferret. All right, so this turned into an interesting fight. I'm interested to see what this uh, Wolverine has. It's the 1R, so it's the older version. So it's probably the uh, SRM-6, the AC-5, and uh, medium laser, I think. If I'm not mistaken. This is the guy we got to worry about. If we can close with this guy... And pull his leg. I'd like. I'd love to be able to pull the legs off of this thing and get the parts for it. I know. I think we have a few Halop Halopolis parts. I believe. So it'd be nice to get a couple more, if we can get one of those guys. Ready for orders. That arbiter's going in the garbage bin. If that's what we. If that's what happens. Ooh, we got back shots here. On who? That's the question. Ferret. That's pretty nice targeting. Savannah Master. Pretty nice targeting. Pack Rat. Ripper. Sprint. And I can't see their mechs. I have no idea what they've got over there. 60% on this guy. I think we leave the uh, ferret for the... Uh, I think we go after this guy. We leave the ferret for the... Um, for the uh, cloud buster, and let's go one. We've got ten turns of firing. I want to make sure we have enough for the Helopolis, and if we've got to face the Capellans at the same time. Oh yeah, baby! Hostile eliminated. Good to go. That's what I'm talking about. Get that AMS up here. Thirty-two and the Ultra Two. Let's go after this guy. We got lots of ammo, so we'll fire two shots. All right, we got one on. Not bad. Yes, Commander. Oh, you can see the vehicle from there, eh? Pulling off. Really. With the rocket packs, though. Might as well take a shot at this guy. Nothing. That's all right. Got the cloud buster coming up. So did these guys drop two lances then? Oh, it's an arbiter they got. That was the Helopolis? You were firing at the Arbiter. Okay, good. What? No. 
Fire at the Arbiter all you want. Advancing again. Got to keep spread out if we can here. Wolverine. That's pretty good on the Holopolis. He's got a howitzer, so it's not... I mean, it's still dangerous, but not as dangerous. And he's only got 755 because he's an old chassis. Let's take a shot at him. Let's start stripping some armor off him. Okay. He's overheating really badly, too. I live to serve. Okay, Onward. I'm going to stay up high here and in the open to give us the best chance we can at this guy. 61's not bad with flak. There he goes. <laughs> that guy just went right up into space. Who can stand before me? Don't tempt fate. Don't tempt fate. We got a chance to pick up some good salvage here. Don't don't ruin it by making a bad comment. <laughs> you know that's how we roll. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna drop some uh, instability here by walking up. My Batman voice. A Batman. That's pretty good. Like, I mean, I'm glad I put that on this thing. Look at this, the chance to hit. I wish we just had thermal bolts now. We could overheat this guy. So 60 and 40. This guy's in the trees, right? Yeah, we do less damage against him. He's braced too, so we're going to put a double shot and fire at this guy. Alright, well, we hit with one out of three. It's not bad. Well, we should have hit with two, but... Whatever, we'll take whatever hits we can get. Yeah, you better back up. So I'm wondering about this Arbiter now. If this is any better than the one that we have, Receiving you. what we can do is we can repair the one that we have and we can drop it down into storage as parts and then rebuild it again with the new Arbiter. Is that, if that makes sense, right? 32, not that great. 32. Yeah, I don't think I want to shoot at the Capellans just yet because they're targeting the uh, guys that we are, so. Yeah, let's try this guy. Yeah, well. Negative damage. I repeat, <laughs> negative damage. I'm gonna have to call that guy Steve. <laughs> oh man, negative damage. Okay, now we should be able to get the cephalus, I think, on that guy. Order. Yeah, man. Let's just stay out of the sight range of that uh, Halopolis. We go after this vehicle. We should be okay here. I don't think the Halopolis can move far enough to be able to engage. It is overheating too, so... We go all out. Actually, this has got a lot of armor, doesn't it? It's a fair bit. I was going to say we can shoot everything and then hope we get uh, a kill on this guy. But maybe we hold on to the rocket packs for a little later. So let's go this route. Alright, not bad. Couple of solid hits. X pulse hit, which is important. Yeah, that guy's not doing hey. anything. What about you? There. Okay. Moving into the trees. Please don't hit our guy. Oh, AMS. Who's got the AMS? Is it you? Oh, he's got an AC-5 at least. Or a rifle. Maybe it's the same guy. It's the same old version with the rifle. Got the sound. Okay. Thanks for showing up. I'm your Spaniel.
67 on the vehicle. 19. Let's go after this guy. I think that's our, probably our best option. Of course, we shoot at it from the side, hit it from the front. Bon appetit. Ooh, two hits. Nice. Probably side and front there, it looked like. Look at this thing. Ooh, that was a nice shot. I guess I should have moved. Major armor loss. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, I hate these guys. Reporting. Heavy damage. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Shoot for the Holopolis, man. Don't for, to shoot for that guy. Is this guy overheating? No, he's not. Why would he be? Nice. What did it get? Oh, it killed its own vehicle. Did it? No, it got something. What did it kill? Oh, it did. It killed its uh, it killed its own copter. Commander. That's what happened. It killed the own its own helicopter. Not the ideal place, Copy but we're going to go over here. It'll stay out of the way of the Hel Helopolis, and then we can uh, hopefully just kill this guy. We're going to use everything. Locking on. There, that should do it. Yep, nice. Hit him hard. Mech destroyed. Four down. We only killed three of them, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, he's standing in fire, though. Receiving you. It's at least getting the trees. Acknowledged. I know I said I was going to stay at distance, but don't think we can afford that. Ultra auto cannons jammed, eh? Sixty percent. Well, that could be a kill if we. I guess it couldn't be. Then I think we have to just go after. Uh, Hmm. 34 on this guy. That's a back shot, though. Ballistic and energy. So it does only have an AC-5 and a medium laser. It doesn't have any... Uh... That's really weird. I guess it's the old version. Maybe it's a rifle it's got. Actually, how tough are you? If we hit the sides, we could rip the armor off. Let's take a shot at this guy. Ah. You and your AMS. That didn't hit. It would have. Looked like it would have anyway. Come on, Arbiter, get in the fight. Don't shoot at me. I'm not shooting at you. It sees the Cloud Buster now as the potential death target. Took that massive hit from the uh, Helopolis. I'm here. Stay in the trees. Spread out. I'm going as fast as I can. All right. Let's just see what our chances to hit are here. That's garbage. That's garbage. Yeah. Meh. Meh. All right. It's you then. Okay. I know the AMS is going to hit us, but whatever. Didn't even give us a chance to move. Light damage. Holding firm. <laughs> Not for Mothman, it isn't. That's reporting. Heavy damage. Didn't even give us a chance to move. Just get on this guy. Copy that. We need to get up there and support that Cephalus. Commander. We just don't have the speed. I copy. Just don't have the speed. Keep on this guy. Fire. Get him shooting at us down here as opposed to targeting systems janky. Cephalus. Hey. Hey. Oh 
boy. Here we go. I don't want you getting too close, though. 34. I think we got to keep the uh, the uh, pressure up on this guy. That. Firing alpha strike. that friggin' scorpion. Oi. Yes, Commander. Let's get on him. Double time. Let's get on him before he gets on us here. All right, here it comes. Okay, got the missile, but both ACs hit. That's nice. Oh, it didn't hit the. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. We got a chance to pull this guy's leg off. Yes, Commander. Not with that heat, though. Good to go. Drop our heat this turn. He can still shoot at us, but I don't think he will. Oof. That's an interesting choice. He's burning up now. Okay. One last thing we gotta worry about. Sound effects are wacky now. I'm finding some of the mechs sound like vehicles and some of the vehicles are sounding like mechs, so... Don't know what they've done. That guy's not in a good spot. All right, what are we going on? 15s and 16s, eh? This is a pretty good battle for one skull. Waiting for orders. Strangely enough, I find it relatively fair. Let's get out here. Twenty-three thirty-eight, eh? Twenty-six thirty-two. Twenty-three thirty-eight. Same on this guy. But I'm gonna shoot here because if we miss, we might hit the Hel Helopolis. So Ignore. try and strip some armor with that heavy rifle. Well, we got one shot in the, on the uh, Helopolis. I think the other one may have hit the. Uh, Good to go. Hit our friend the uh, Wolverine. Oh, that's against this guy. Which I think I'll take. All right, full speed. It's probably going to shoot down the uh, Thunderbolt, but we're going to fire it anyway. Commander. All right, bring you up to here. Affirmative. I think we're spread out far enough now. Let's see if we can keep on this guy, we can clear this guy out. All right. There's no way I can run up there, eh? Order. Yeah, there's no way to... He's in a good spot. It's painful too because I can't... Oh, I can. I was gonna say I can't get a back shot without him being... Uh... Annoying, but I, I most certainly can. Let's try it. On my way. Double time. We'll hit him with everything and then we'll dart out. So this Wolverine should be reduced armor as well, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, that's a really good chances to hit. It's got 23. Let's see if we can clear out the Wolverine. Yep, there we go. Enemy down. No SRMs remaining. Holopolis is burning up, right? So he can't do too much. If he turns to shoot at me with lasers, he's going to be like shutting himself down. Not that worried about it. He's probably going to fire his artillery, and if he does, he might shoot this guy. 
or the Arbiter. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. It's been weird what he's been targeting, so I I'm interested to see what he decides to go for. So here he goes. Nope. Me this time. Oof. One more shot like that and I'm dead. Yeah, I know. I can tell. Aye, aye. Okay. Let's get right in this guy's face. And here it comes. Okay, so it hit. Nice. Thunderbolt hit. SRMs did not. What leg do you have damaged? The uh, far side. So it'd have to be over here, which means he's going to get a shot at me. Pair of SRM sixes. I don't know if I want to take that shot. Let's play it smart. Let's play it smart. Don't need to risk too much at this point. We pretty much secured the victory. We just need to make sure we don't die here. So let's go this route. Ah, damn it. Not enough. That we hit the other side. Sure did. Because of course we did. Right here. Shoot at the front, hit the side. So that's the left side. I'm going to make sure the right side's... Wait, what? That's the right side. Me and my friggin' dis directional dyslexia, I'm telling you. It's frustrating as hell. Let's hope for the kill. Copy that. Firing alpha strike. Not enough. That looked like a critical hit. No bailout. Oh well. We still have the hunchback though. God damn it. He's so accurate. Yeah. How much I could do to save that Not guy? Bad. I want this guy gone. Let's just turn this off to drop some recoil so we can get on this Helopolis. Engaging target. There we go. Target neutralized. I want Helopolis parts so badly I decided to sacrifice my Zoria. I hope it's not gone. This was a tough match. I'll give it that. That's my 10 o'clock alarm. God damn it. He can see us. Oh man. Do I wait and let this guy shoot or we just go after him? Do we just try and secure the kill at this point? Affirmative. I think we do. He's doing a lot of damage to us, so let's see what we can get out of this. Firing on target. Damage. Interesting. Oh, after the arbiter. Okay. Hey, why would I shoot? I'm here. Whatever. Nope. Uh, more this way if we can. There we go. See if we can get this leg. Did we get it? We got it. Nice. That hit some. Okay. He's 
panicking. Arbiter is deciding to do nothing. Is this guy going? I don't know where the hell he's going. Standing by. Roger. All right. I'm glad we dropped our recoil. Heavy rifle. So much armor left on this friggin' leg, though. Roger. Solid connection on that one. But those were leg hits. Oh my god, it totally was. What do you need? Okay. Gonna be tricky. Go for that leg. Got him. Leg first, so we're probably going to get good salvage out of that. Orders. That was lucky. Okay, good side shot. Maybe we can get that pack rat to come back. We turn our back to him slightly. Alright, just take the shots here. Locked on. Okay, one AC hit. Oh, he's coming back. Haha, -ha, nice. Orders. I know we're going through fire, it's okay. I'm only gonna shoot one laser. Gonna fire the one. Target confirmed. Nice. He's panicking. He's panicking. I don't blame you, buddy. Location confirmed. I don't blame you. Thunderbolt back on. AC firing. Okay, let's get on this guy. I don't know how much I can shoot here. Probably most of it. I'm gonna keep myself from overheating though. Engaging. That should be it. No, really? He's got no armor left though. Yeah, I stripped almost 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 all of his armor off. Yeah, I can't get to this guy. All right, hunchback so damn slow. Yeah, hey, messes on jam. Nice. Commander. All right, we're gonna get in the water so we can shoot everything. Drop some heat here. Should be able to secure the kill now. Firing at enemy or not. We gotta make sure we take all of his armor off first before we kill him. Okay, so he does have a laser hard point. Heavy rifle. Oh, it's a fluid gun, right? So this is the same guy. What do you need? So I don't really don't care about this guy then. On my way. Just gonna try to save part of him, but what's the point? Firing. Cordum. That's a kill. Don't send an arbiter to do a Talos's job. That's what I say. Yeah, you run. I love it when they run. Ready for orders. Yeah, I just brace it. Yes, Commander. Okay, kiddo, let's finish this guy up. I want to go home. I'm getting tired. We got two vehicles. I got to figure out if we're actually still going to have at the end of this. Firing. Oh, for fuck's sakes! 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> Open my mouth too soon. Again. Alright, there it is, folks. Mission successful. Well, that was brutal. That Helopolis was so accurate, though. Even for being an old piece of junk, the pilot must have been really good. So the Cloudbuster pilot, Mothman survived. Puka survived. The vehicles just went down. So let's hope they're not destroyed. I guess there's no way to know until we get into the uh, final screen. Only one Helopolis part, eh? Four Wolverine parts, though. Oh, man, what a choice. Okay, Bolton Rocket 15, Howitzer 2000. Wait, why did it do 93 in a hit? I saw it say 93, but it's only doing 50 damage. Was it the ar was it the rounds that it was using? Cuz it doesn't it use rifle ammunition? Yes, right, and it may have used So that's medium sabo ammo. Does it have does it use heavy rifle ammo or medium rifle ammo? Medium rifle ammo. So it was probably using the Sabo, which is like, I think 75% more effective or something, which is why it did so much damage. Yeah, that's probably why. Although that might be an interesting loadout for the uh, Hunchback. Remove the direct fire and go indirect with it, but we just don't have the numbers to warrant that at the moment. So, maybe we... Hmm. Oh, it's plus 60% damage dealt to armor. So it would have only been an 80 damage, not a 93 that I saw. Maybe it was a crit hit too, though. Who knows? Whatever. Mine dispenser 5s. Yeah, because those are really worth it. Um, Bolt-on rocket's not bad. I wonder if we take the four Wolverine parts and call it a day, but this is like once again we're at a we're in this situation where it's like one ballistic, one one laser. So it really is not any kind of upgrade. Don't have any striker parts. Ah. Do we take that? It's just garbage here now. Like, it's just all garbage. Diverse optics is what? Increased range, but variable damage. Let's go this route, I guess. I, I, if I take the four Wolverine parts, what'll end up happening is I'll get another Wolverine part and then it'll I'll end up with a garbage Wolverine. But if I don't, I don't know. Let's not, I'm gonna try and shy away from taking garbage mech parts now. We, we went for the Arbiter before and it was a piece of junk. So let's not make that same mistake again. I know the Holop you could say the same thing about the Holopolis, but at least it's got like, you know, five hard points. Plus the uh the uh, support hard point. So it's like, you know, a couple of long range lasers, a, a long range ballistic, and then an, like an AMS or something, right? So it's kind of worth it, but I don't know. Alright, the Arbiter piece, one Wolverine piece, striker. So okay stuff there. Fluid gun. That's two ton. Oh, one ton though. It's not that bad, I guess. We'll hang on to it and see if we can get it into anything. The heavy rifle will keep us a backup in case we lose ours. LRM-10 will hold on to. This can go away. The 155 core, let's hold on to. These can go. That can go. That can go. Do it nice and slow now. Heavy rifle ammo. We got 13 tons of it. So we can get rid of that. It's only worth a thousand. Um... Yeah, so there it is. Sure. Alright, well, 
Really? It's only ten grand for repairs? I guess so, because it, they weren't targeting our mechs. They were targeting the vehicles, and we didn't lose the vehicles, which was really lucky for us. Uh, mech, wait, I'm just interested to see the Holopolis, though. I don't think... I thought we took some parts before, but maybe it was... Oh, we do. We do have enough now. It's an old chassis, but we could still put it together. I mean... Yeah, because we were looking to see if we got all the parts the last time, weren't we? For this one? Do I want to ready it now, or do I want to wait? I don't have room to put it in my lineup. I don't have the C-bills to really fix it, though, just yet. So let's hold off. That's still a... I mean... It's an older mech, but it, it's still... This was the one with the sawed-off thumper, wasn't it? I can't remember what it had on it. What does it say? It doesn't say anything. But we got the we got the howitzer we could put on it. And we could put the uh, the clan ER large laser and like a couple of LRMs or something. I've got an LRM twenty, a bunch of tens. So maybe it's a like the howitzer and an LRM twenty and LRM ten? And a medium laser or something? I don't know. We don't have the C bills like I mean I guess I should just trash this now. It'll save us a bit of coin at the start here. It doesn't have anything on it that we need, right? If I'm going to spend my money, I would rather spend it on... It's got heavy rifle ammo and some heat sinks. And the 145 core. So if I'm going to spend my money, I'm going to spend it on the Holopolis. Now, do we have... I think we got a big... We got a 280 core, don't we? We got 240, 280. Standard fusion core just in case it's an older model, so we're okay there. Um, heavy industrial armor we can put on it. Uh, what else? Double heat sink kit. So, endo steel and ferro fibro fibrous can go on it. And then as far as weapons could go, we could put the howitzer on it. Right? And then... We got LRMs that we could put on. I don't have any mortar ammo, so I can't put more. I can't put a mortar on it, unfortunately. Right. So. Yeah, we could put the howitzer on it. We got medium rifle ammo that we can throw in there. Right. Nine shots, eighteen shots. Or we just stick with the sable rounds. And just strip armor off of everything and then just use the other guys to kill them. That is, that, I mean, that's a potential. And then maybe we save some weight on the hunchback by pulling off the advanced AMS and put it on that thing. Yeah, so let's just ditch this Arbiter then. Let's just get rid of it and save some sea bills. It's not going to save much, but it's going to give us 84,000. Right? So what we were at, 50. Nice to see it. Is it still the same, roughly? Forward. Probably. Uh, we bring it forward now to fill up the arbiter slot. Let's just do it. I'm just interested to see. Ready to fight, Commander. Quirk stable weapons. All right, let's have a look here. So, oh, this was the pirate version. That's right. It had the Hellstorm. Ah, yes, that's right. So the Thunderbolt 4-pack stayed. Medium heavy laser pirate stayed. Upper spiked stayed. Upper recoil stayed. I mean, we lost a lot of stuff. Fuel cell. So we had to put something in there. Just for the sake of... Let's just check this really quick. Just for the sake of argument. Howitzer. Let's max out the armor. 
pull this off, pull this off for a second. Um, Eternals, let's go down. So we're already at 34 days and 470, like... Engine shielding already exists, so I cannot swap out. I wonder if I have to wait till I get... Will that work? Or is that forcing me to... It's forcing me to keep that. So I can't swap out the fuel cell. I can put Pharaoh on, though. Wow, look at the weight still, though. Like, it's already, like, <laughs> we've got less than eight tons left. Uh, upper spiked can come off. Oh, because we haven't got these done yet, either. That's part of the reason. So if we do... Let's say we turn it into a missile platform and... Dead of the howitzer platform? We've only got two slots, though. And we can probably strip a lot of the back armor off. Not a lot, but a bunch. Like that. Maybe take one more off the center, and then one on either side, put it back on. Right. A little bit more in the center back. Okay. Just for now, we'll put the basics on. Right? Compact life support. Uh, give us an extra bit of weight. So that's actually not that bad. I mean, it's really going to be the howitzer is the main weapon at this point. Minus one recoil. Um, stable weapons, what? Minus one recoil, too. So really, it would be a... Like, you'd want to make sure you had a ballistic weapon in this. Wow, it had the sensor tracker, massive range finder. What a difference between this one and the old version. Like, I mean, it still had the Hellstorm, but regular medium rifle ammo. Requires what? Medium rifle. Oh, it has to be in the same location as the weapon. That's right. I forgot about that. So that's how it would have to go. Okay. So we got 10 tons left, which isn't much. We got one laser hard point. So, I mean, we could go with the PPC. It's got the range. At least it's a continuous direct fire weapon. Or, um, I wish we had clan LRMs or an LRM 15, but we don't. I mean, we could go with a 10 and a 5, go LRM 15, and then ammo, we would have to go a couple tons of Artemis. And why can't I put it there? Oh, because it's got to put the Artemis in first, that's why. Okay. Then it would be 16 turns of Artemis fire. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of bizarre. I mean, really, you would probably want to shy away from going all in on the uh, ammunition and add some kind of laser weapon. You know? Then at this point, though, we'd have to add a double heatsink kit. Wow, I can't even... I can't update the fuel cell, so I can't put a double heatsink kit in, so this is a write-off. Wow, that's... Uh, not good. Why is it I'm, every time I go to do something, I'm getting hamstringed by, by ridiculousness? Really? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. How fast are we now? Three, five? 
So you'd want to keep it with the howitzer. Yeah, I guess it would be then the other LRM5 or the LRM5 and the uh, I mean, I guess that's the best way to do it. And then if we find... So oh, that's reinforced. Well, that changes things. Jesus. Yeah, because now I can go ahead and do some kind of laser weapon as a backup. Like, we throw a large laser on just as a backup. Like, it would, you would never fire everything. So it would be the howitzer and the LRMs, which is 15 and 12. So 27. Or it would be, like, the large laser and the LRM-5 or something like that. Don't even have enough for another... Like, I guess I could pull some of the armor off this thing, like... Something like that, maybe. And then a few points off the back. Well, we could still do this, and we could still make our financial report. And then we'd have one left over for, um, like, an extra heat sink. You know? That way, if you're firing the large and some of the other stuff, or the large in the LRM-10, let's say... That's 32. So you'd have 33 heat sinking for it. I mean, it's goofy as shit. The other way we do it is we even drop a bunch more armor. Because does it, at this point, does it need to be this heavily armored? I don't think it does. You know? I don't think it needs to be this heavily armored. So you could probably go like... Just for the sake of argument. Bring this down to like 180 maybe? 175? So that's, that gives me another one and a half tons. Anyway, I don't think we have, uh... Can I replace the gyro? I can. Doesn't change anything, though. It's a waste to put it on this guy. Um, you could put a C3 unit on it, which doesn't really help it that much. Warfare Suite. Would help it a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Um, hmm. So I guess we put like another heat sink in and add half a ton of armor back on. You know? Yeah, but where? Legs are probably fine at 140. Probably because it's going to get flanked to the back a little bit, a little bit more in the CT maybe. So something like that. 900 grand in 36 days. Sure, goofy as shit, let's do it. Done. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. So we're gonna have to jump. <laughs> we're gonna have to jump. Oh uh, no, we gotta pull off another mission here first before we can jump. Let's put that up at the top. We'll get these guys back. Right. We just we've just gone through a financial report, so we've got lots of time. So we could technically jump. That would give us time to get back the Griffin and work, do some work on it. 
So if we put the griffin at the top. So I'm going to jump between episodes. We'll get the griffin back. See what we can do to it. I'll probably throw, trash a lot of these older uh, mech parts out of here. Um, the ones I don't want. To get a little bit of sea bills. And then when we land at the new location, hopefully we have enough time to pull off a mission to get some sea bills back. Are we just... Ah, oh, God, it's such a hard choice. All right, you know, we're going we're gonna to pull off one more mission here. Go for go for money, and then, like, the next episode, and then when we go back, when we jump, then at least we'll have enough money for the financial report if we don't make some when we get there. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.